Hola, muy buenas a todos y bienvenidos a mi canal. Como veis ahora mismo estoy jugando con ratón y teclado, pues porque el mando ya habéis visto en el anterior episodio que está bastante jodido. Así que lo que vamos a hacer realmente es ir hacia la historia. ¿Por qué? Pues porque todo esto lo acabo de grabar hace nada, pero se me ha ido la grabación sinceramente a la mierda. Y pues me ha cabreado bastante porque ahora me lo tengo que volver a pasar todo y ya va a grabar pues unos dos episodios. Y pues eso parece que no, pero fastidia bastante tenerlo todo grabado y que se te vaya la mierda porque el PC se ha quedado bloqueado y ha jodido toda la grabación. Así que vamos a ir directamente hacia el final de la historia. Claramente tampoco falta mucho el juego, pero aquí ya era dos niveles más avanzado. Es más, tengo que, he tenido que volver a cargar la partida desde mucho atrás. Porque no había, no había guardado partida, se había guardado automáticamente. ¿Y qué pasa acá? Guardarse automáticamente. Ha hecho también, aquí guardamos, pues que se guarda automáticamente en la parte de antes. Así que me ha tenido que volver a tocar cargar desde la última vez que habíamos guardado. Y pues ha sido una putada. Así que ahora me va a tocar volver a pasarme todo lo que ya habéis estado viendo. Todo lo que habéis visto. Eh, creo que no sé ni qué he estado diciendo antes, así, ah, bueno, que lo que toca ahora es ver lo que le pasó a Tast en el pasado, que es una, la verdad es que es una escena de unos 10 minutitos, vale, para ver, así que ahora vamos aquí arriba y vais a ver, y ya nos tocaría ir al desenlace del juego. Look, up ahead, a village. All the way up here? Do you think it's that Moonblood camp Kane was talking about? No, it's something else. It's en enough talking. Let's get up there. Halt. What? No. Imp Cassius. What did you call me? Who are you? What are you doing in this place? You you were dead. No. No, this is not possible. I don't know what demon you are. But you will not step any closer. Kill this thing. Ah, nos toca enfrentarnos a ellos. Ahora que son bastante flojitos. Uh. Son flojitos, eh, pero meten unas trallas bastante buenas, interesantes. Why? Why destroy such a peaceful place? We didn't want any of this. Gus, what are you talking about? And who is Cassius? That's not It's not my name. I'd remember it. I'd know it when I heard it. Y ahora vamos a descubrir de verdad lo que le ocurrió a, a Dust. Looks like this place has been destroyed for quite some time. A year, actually. Huh? How do you know that? This was Ginger's village. I was here one year ago. According to Fuse, according to Ginger, I helped murder everyone in this village. Oh, dust. But I don't remember any of it. I remember this place, but it feels like it's been more than a year. Ara, what does it mean? It only means that things are not as they seem. Explore the village further, dust. Let us see what secrets it hides. Vale, sigamos. This house. Do you remember something, Dust? This is impossible. Dust? How? Do you see now? But how, Ara? I don't understand. The answers lie above, Dust.
Ginger. She was sleeping right here on the night I came to say goodbye. But I hesitated. I didn't want to wake her. Didn't want her to worry about me. She couldn't know what I was about to do. Just... What are you saying? She couldn't know that I was about to go avenge our parents. You mean... You're... But how? What's going on here? I... I remember now. But how? How can I have helped destroy this village, but be a victim of that same act? That's impossible. Only impossible for a creature with a single soul. Ginger. Those eyes. I know those eyes. So, Mithrarin, you finally see the truth. Who are you? I am Elder Grey Eyes, leader of the Moonblood people. Well, what's left of them, that is. What did you mean just then, that I can finally see the truth? What do you know about me? His eyes, Elder. They're Jin's eyes. They do look remarkably similar to your brother's, yes. That is because his soul lives on within dust. What? However, to suit our needs, we required two souls. The soul of innocence is a noble thing, but without skill, without power, dust would have been struck down just as easily as your brother was on that fated day. No. So we combined your brother's soul with that of his murderer, the royal assassin known as Cassius. They perished at the same time, forever entwined. Never before had I heard of such an event. You murderer! My parents did nothing wrong! You have been deceived, little one. Your parents turned against their king, an act of pure treason. What resistance there was, was led by your family alone. You destroyed my village, murdered my friends and family. You will not survive this day. I take no joy in slaughtering one as young as you, child. But you have forced my hand. A grave injustice was done that day. Cassius murdered a defenseless djinn, but his pride and arrogance proved to be his undoing. But how? How can this... this thing be my brother? It's not possible. I couldn't even remember you when we met. You are djinn, yes. But you are also Cassius. Two souls, forever at odds. One of innocence, one of power. Together you form the one we call Myth- I never knew what happened. Jin just disappeared one night. I had always hoped he would turn up alive someday. That he would come back. But could you really be him? Ginger, I don't know. I... I don't know. Now, Dust, I imagine you have many questions. Please, do not hesitate to ask them. Vale, estas dos se eh, las he hecho antes, cuando he grabado el episodio que se me han jodido. Y realmente te recuerdan lo mismo, que es uno de, que lo que nos han contado, por si no nos ha quedado claro. Y esta la, es interesante porque no nos dicen nada sobre eso. ¿Cómo se ha convertido en todo esto? ¿Qué es exactamente? Es uno de los cinco bladas de Elysium. Antiguas armas forjadas cuando nuestras especies eran muchas. Y el camino de la flameless light era común. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck is the way of the flameless light? A path we Moonbloods continue to follow. It is a way of living, a way of thought, that allows us to make use of a power both old and great. Magic without magic. I am so confused. Surely, as Nimbat Sword Guardian, you've studied the ancient doctrines. 
You must know, in the event that the sword is summoned by its rightful owner, you are obligated to follow. I may have skipped over that chapter? You haven't answered my question. The blades of Elysium were created to guide their sword bearer's dust. I was summoned to your side to ensure our balance was maintained between the souls within you. Ah, my old friend. It is good to hear your voice once more. It has been a long time, Master. Wait just a second. How can you possibly know each other? My clan's been keeping the sword hidden for over 200 years. Master Grey Eyes has lived for a very long time, Fidget. Longer than any of you. So you were sent to keep an eye on me? To help you reach your true potential. Nothing more. I have no more questions. What now? You must join us in the Moonblood Camp to the north in the Everdawn Basin. That isn't anywhere near the Everdawn Volcanoes, is it? They are one and the same, yes. Well, that's fantastic. Volcanoes? Indeed. What a better place to hide than in the most volatile land in all the kingdom. Oh, I know. How about a peaceful meadow? Or a quiet forest? Or someplace that doesn't explode every ten minutes? Dust, your friend seems awfully tense. No, I'm fine. Come on, let's go to the Blowy Up Mountains. Really, I'm serious. Fidget, you need to have more faith in me. I'll have faith in you when you have faith in yourself. How about it, huh? Who are you? I am... I... Uh... You see? You still haven't figured it out yet! Lizard guy tells you right to your face, and you still don't know! Fidget, please calm down. You mustn't test your friend like this. I just... <sighs> if I'm gonna follow you to the literal end of this world, I need to know who I'm following. And why. I understand, Fidget. You're right. I can't ask you to follow me. But I can. Fidget, you have stood by Dust's side for this entire journey. You have watched him save this world. How can you continue to doubt? I just don't get it. It doesn't matter who he thinks he is. He's Dust. That's who he is. That's who I know. Fidget, please, I can't do this without you. Can you, uh... Can you repeat that? I said, I can't do this without you. I'm sorry, I just... Nobody's ever said that to me before. And it won't be the last time, I assure you. Are you ready, Mithrarin? I am. Then we will meet you in the Everdawn Basin. Goodbye, Dust. We'll see you there. Pues ya está chicos, ya hemos visto un poco sobre la trama y quién estás, por fin lo sabéis para los que no hayan jugado antes y tenían pues esas dudas. Y ahora aquí vamos a guardar partida y voy a parar la grabación y volver a continuar para que no se joda como antes. Vale, ya estamos aquí otra vez. Lo digo porque aquí justamente se me había fastidiado. General Gaius, what news, Commander? I did not want to believe it, but Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that... wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology. And we have the element of surprise. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Cassius, my old friend, so long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. Y nos toca ir a la última parte del juego, Cuenca del Eterno Amanecer. 
Ya os digo que vamos a ir bastante rápidos. Capítulo 5, leyenda. Pues eso, vamos a ir bastante rápidos. Y no voy a pararme mucho a pelear, vamos a ir directamente al final. Porque no me quiero entretener mucho para los capítulos. Porque podríamos pasar, pasar esto en varios episodios. Pero quiero intentar terminarlo en el próximo episodio. Así que vamos a adelantar lo que podamos en este. Así que guardamos. Lo voy a guardar en otro diferente. Eh, 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 eh. Vamos a guardar aquí. Espacio 3. Es parte del ejército de los sanguidunos que nos siguen. We welcome your presence en Mithrarin. Preparations for war are nearly complete. Surely you have more soldiers than this. General Gaius is nothing if not thorough. His forces have exterminated most Moonbloods from this land. We are all that's left. How do you expect to win with so few soldiers? We cannot. That's why we created Sen Mithrarin. You dust will turn the tide. Ah, uh, well, no pressure or anything. <laughs> yeah. Esto ya lo habían dicho. Esto ya sabemos que no estamos seguros y en qué puedo ayudar. Well, I'm here now. Is there anything I can do to help? We are spread rather thin. Our chief engineer, Sonjin, is having trouble with our camp support systems. Go and speak with him when you can. There is also the matter of our scout, Kier. He has not checked in for many hours. But with our battle preparations, we have not been able to mobilize a proper search party. His patrol takes him east of our camp if you aim to find him. Vale, tenemos varias misiones. Ginger? Gin? Oh, Dust. It's you. Yeah, just me. Are you alright? I'll be fine. Just a lot to think about. Listen, about Jin. Yes? What was he like? He was very kind. Almost to a fault, really. I like him already. <laughs> yes. He had that effect on people. I like to believe it's what made you do all those wonderful things for Aurora and Mudpot. Aro was always testing me. Every time I made a choice, he would tell me if it was the right one. I was choosing whether to follow Jin or Cassius. I believe they were both trying to influence my actions. And you listen to Jin? Yeah, he's kinda hard to ignore. He is, isn't he? Or at least he was. No, Ginger. I think you were right the first time. I think Jin continues to live through my actions. He's guiding me. But what of your other half? Cassius murdered my family, Dust. He destroyed my village. I feel his presence every time I swing the blade of Ara. I believe the Elder was right. Without him, I'd have been cut down long ago. But Jin... Jin keeps him from taking control. As long as Cassius lives within you, though, there's always that danger. You could always be pulled to a path of evil. I won't lie. I felt him pulling me to take the quick and easy path, to leave the weak to fend for themselves, to show no mercy to those in my way. Perhaps someday you can be rid of his foul presence. Maybe. Someday. For now, I need him to defeat Gaius. There's no other way. I know. Still, I'm glad we were able to talk, Dust. Me too, Ginger. I'll be back before you know it. Be careful. Vale, pues nada, ya vamos a hablar con ella y proseguimos. Ah, you've arrived just in time, Mithrarin. My name is Sanjin. I'm what you'd call a chief engineer, I suppose the term is. The elder mentioned you needed some help. Yes, indeed. In the caverns below, we've set up machinery to provide the camp with power and water. Unfortunately, seismic activity has shut down both systems. So I have been rather preoccupied handling the battle preparations, so if you could, I would appreciate it if you went down there to examine the generators. Sure, Sanjin. I'll take a look. Thank you. 
You'll need to restart the generator and water pump when you're down there. We'll require both systems to be running if we're going to stand a chance. Vale, pues vamos para allá abajo. Vamos. Au. ¿Por qué me quemo siempre? No. No sé si son... Joder, sí que he volado lejos, ¿no? Ah, pues tampoco son tan fuertes estos tíos. O al menos es lo que parece. Vale, sigamos. ¡Ay! Mira que... Mira, mira, eh. Que no me quiero quemar. Que llegar hasta ahí arriba. Venga, siguiente. A ver qué hay que hacer aquí. There's the generator. Let's see if we can find a way to get it working again. I sense new energy emanating from the device dust. Perhaps there is a way sí, to return it. Sí, con el poder de Que con el poder de Fitchet será era así. Well done, Fitchet. The camp should now be receiving power. Honestly, Fitchet, where would I be without you? Probably still be wandering around in the mountains outside Aurora. Wait, what? <laughs> what I meant to say was, uh, no. Vale. Y antes de nada, uy, esto no. Tenemos que subir de nivel, que se me había olvidado. Así que vamos a aumentar esto un poquito. Y en el siguiente nivel, pues aumentaremos el ataque para el boss final o la defensa. Uf, casi nos caemos. Hay que tener mucho cuidado. Ahí abajo parece que hay algo. Pero nosotros íbamos a seguir hacia adelante, hacia la aventura principal. No vamos a pararnos casi a pelear. O sea que... Venga. Que nos queda ya poco para terminar el juego. Au. Siempre me quemo. Odio el fuego. A ver, ¿estará aquí? No, hay que subir más. Vale. Por aquí. Well, this is the water pump. Huh, no wonder it stopped. These vines are growing all over it. I don't want to risk damaging the pump trying to cut those vines. Maybe there's some way we can burn them off. El poder de Fitchet. El de fuego. All right, that seems to fix it. Nice work, Fidget. Ah, oh, stop! You're making me blush. Okay, that's the generator and the water pump back online. Venga, pues vamos para atrás. Pues ya ahora mismo solo nos queda volver entre nuestros pasos. Uh, mira lo que hay aquí.
Y el tesoro está aquí abajo. ¿Veis esto que se ve aquí? Ah, pues no. Algo habrá aquí para cogerlo y luego saltar al lado. Pero como no queremos morir y tenemos bastante prisa, pues vamos a dejar aquí. Pues nada chicos, espero que os haya gustado, comentar que os ha parecido y nos vemos en el siguiente episodio de Dust. Hasta la próxima, chao.